Hi, I'm Vincent Scandura. I'm the director of national sales for SW Packaging Group. What we're going to discuss today is how to unleash your brand, packaging, branding, and sustainability. A little bit about my background. I've been in printing and packaging since 1980. So I've seen a lot of changes in the industry, in the innovation and, and equipment that has changed over time, and in the world as a whole. So hopefully I can share some of that with you today. Our agenda for today is e-commerce has amplified the need for packaging that tells your brand story. Changes in technology that drive cost reduction in manufacturing. Innovative products and next level packaging solutions. Warehousing, inventory management, and kitting for small to mid-sized companies. Navigating the changing legislative landscape in our industry. And finally, sustainability can equal success for you. S. Walter itself has been in business since 1904 with 300 plus employees across North America. We serve over 40,000 customers globally and we are SQF certified. We have several divisions, one of them being LPI, which provides graphic finishing solutions, as well as a manufacturing platform for rigid boxes, cartons, and paperboard packaging. SW Packaging, the group that I mainly represent, is customizable packaging solutions. Bags and Bows, e-commerce division for short run custom or non-custom packaging needs. SW Specialty Papers serves industrial customers in the automotive, boating, and defense industry, and SW Uniflex, which is packaging for the healthcare industry. So you can see we cover a lot of different industries. Each one specializes, and the confectionery industry, we've been in for 20, 30 plus years. So we have a lot of experience. So let's get started. E-commerce and branding. Branding is obviously a major part of any business. We're all familiar with Apple or Nestle or Hershey. These are all household names. Uh, a few years ago, I took a vacation down to Florida and forgot to bring a hat with me. So I went and bought a hat at a local store and it had a Tesla logo on it. Really actually looked pretty good. So I put it on, I don't own a Tesla. So the rest of the vacation, as long as I wore this hat, how do you like the car? What model do you have? Uh, mine is a Y or I've got this model or that. It became a conversation point because the brand created a connection, a feeling, a experience for people that they wanted to share. So that's why your branding is key. And e-commerce and social media have opened up a whole new field of areas where you can market yourself and where you can grow your business. Previously, before your business was in a town, and that's where you are, and maybe you grew to a city or a state or even a country, but still you had limitations unless you spent millions of dollars. Well, now through e-commerce and social media, it doesn't matter how small you are, you can grow your business globally. And these more and more people are using these. So uh, e-commerce grew a lot during the pandemic. I think we all saw that because we were all home. So I have one client who has about 150 brick and mortar locations and struggled at what would they do with the two month shutdown that we had here in the US. So they focused on their e-commerce business and they had already had started to build a social media connection. So they used that to build their e-commerce that by the end of the shutdown, when stores reopened, they had two sources of revenue now, almost doubling their sales where their e-commerce had now become a big part of their business and their brick and mortar returned to what it was before. So great opportunities. And you don't have to have 150 locations to take advantage of that. Your packaging plays a major part of your brand. Your candy has a taste, a look, a texture. Your packaging should complement that and coordinate with that to continue that experience, that feeling that you get from buying your product. On the left, you'll see Carl. 
Now, Carl is a little snowman made by Kate Weiser Chocolates here in Dallas, and that's where I am. A few years ago, Carl was part of a group of about 50 gifts that Oprah Winfrey picked for a holiday that year. What you do with Carl is you warm up some milk on the stove, put Carl in there, it melts and becomes an amazing hot chocolate with a little foam and marshmallows on top. Great product. Packaging is designed to go with that and constantly changes every year. On the right is Christopher Elbow's Halloween program. They did that this past year. And you'll see its caskets. Great design. And on the right is Dylan Candy's Everyday Box. So branding is really, really important. And now the rise of influencer marketing and unboxing videos, your brand gets free marketing. If you go on YouTube, unboxing videos are everywhere. And yes, you can unbox a Apple Watch or an Apple phone, but they're unboxing candy and food and clothing. And these influencers do this and go through the whole process. So if your packaging looks good, it increases the odds that they'll do that and give you free marketing. Because they reached, in some cases, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people. So on the left, you'll see a box that says, hello, you, in, in, the, um, in the screen. This box, in this case, is printed on the outside, but it could be craft as well, which it usually is so that it sits in front and is less likely to be taken. But when you open the box, it's, it's a store in a box experience. It's the colors of your store. It's the tissue from your store. It's the individual candy boxes from your store. So they get the feeling that they get when they walk into your shop. But there's also a nice little note. It should be personalized. And maybe it has a discount coupon for the next order, giving people an experience with that unboxing. On the right is an envelope. Same type of process, but saves a little bit of money. And in some cases, depending on the product, you may not need a big box. A terrific example of this is a client that I work with called James Avery. It's a jewelry company here in Texas, but it's become national. And we worked setting up their program originally with sustainable papers and uh, boxes and bags and all different types of items, little pouches, but it all complements each other, coordinates together. So it's an image that they've created to go along with their jewelry. And it's become so much of an image, as you can see on the slide, on the right-hand side is a screenshot from eBay. That screenshot shows 20 authentic James Avery gift boxes with pouch and card, two earring pouches, and one large bag. Now, that person's not selling jewelry. Those aren't jewelry in those boxes. They're selling the used empty boxes. And there's hundreds of these for James Avery and hundreds of these for other companies and candy companies because people have connected that packaging to that brand so much that they buy the boxes afterwards. So it's a great example of how important that packaging branding is. Now, how do you, as a small or a mid-sized company, take advantage of that design? Well, innovation is changing constantly. What you see here is a new machine we added about 18 months ago called the Scotix machine. The Scotix machine is takes printed material and enhances it enhances it with stuff like foil, with UV coating, with embossing, with debossing. So it improves, it enhances the image, gives it more of a tactile feel. Again, connecting people to the item. This is all done in this machine on a full size press. So most efficient print wise to save the most money. This technology allows for shorter runs. That machine can run 3,000, 5,000. Instead, if you were running normal technology just 10 years ago, you'd have to run hundreds of thousands to make it make sense. 
There are no die costs now with digital equipment. This is also a big factor since dies can cost thousands and thousands of dollars. Here, there is no die. It's all just a few keystrokes, some artwork, and can be adjusted and moved on the fly instead of a rigid setup that you have to restart from the beginning to get there. There's unlimited versioning, obviously, and multiple applications. So that machine can do all those different, that foil, the deboss, the emboss, and the heights of it can be adjusted, which is very difficult on other equipment. And all of those steps would be multiple machines to do it, where here it's one. Here's some examples of some of the different finishes that can go on. Uh, they don't look great in 2D. In 3D, you can see it, obviously. And if anyone's interested, just contact me, reach out to me through my connection on the site, and I'll be happy to send you some examples. But here's Crystal. Crystal, Sense, Foil, UV. Uh, I love the Sense because uh, it's ice cubes, it's embossed and debossed, and it actually looks wet. It has drops because of the UV that was added to it. It feels like, it almost feels like it's wet. So a great uh, option to create that depth that changes your packaging from everyone else's. Now I'll show you this a little bit in more detail in a video where you can see it a little more 3D in this uh, Kate Weiser video. Now, that was a great program for Kate. Um, it sold really, really well. As I said, she only did 3,000 or 5,000 of some of those. For us, it run us, won us a uh, regional and a national award for graphic and design. So it's something that you can get into no matter your size. The next thing is advanced inventory control. So the first step I want to show you is a portal system. We use these, uh, other companies use these as well, and it gives you full control of your packaging where you don't have to call to order something when you need it. You can see it right on the screen. You can see it right on your computer. You can order it 24-7. Uh, if it's being inventory, you can see it in how many is there so you can manage and forecast your inventory. It takes away the complication of having to walk into the warehouse to figure out how many uh, six piece boxes you have. You see it right there. It's easy to control it. And it's great for sales, production, and other key metrics. Also with inventory control, as I mentioned, managing it and, and holding it is key. Uh, I have a prospect that I had called in the Dallas area and she was making chocolate. And I walked into her workspace and there they were making the chocolate, but they were surrounded by boxes and boxes of boxes, empty boxes. And I mentioned to her and said, wow, this is a lot of boxes you have here. She says, you think that's bad? You should see the two containers I have in the parking lot full of packaging. Well, we're here in Texas. Packaging being held in the summertime outside in containers is not great. Nothing should be held in containers in the midst of the summer. So what we did is we brought this in along with the portal system, managed it, and gave her just in time. So this opened up her whole production area where she could do what she does best, make chocolate. And we took over the packaging from her so she could get out of the packaging business. That's our job or whichever packaging partner you're using. Focus on the environment and legislation. 
climate change has become more and more impacting our lives at this point. Uh, we're all dealing with it, we're all seeing it, and we all see the effect on legislation in our towns, in our cities, in our countries. Uh, here in the United States, we offer a service, which is free to anyone, you don't have to be a client of ours, called baglaws.com. Baglaws.com shows legislation for all municipalities by city, by state. So you can see what the rules are for plastic bags, for paper bags, for boxes. So you understand, is it 40% recycled, 100% recycled? This is all available to you. And you can see this and we give, when we work with a client, we'll actually manage their account that way and make sure that everything is within the legislation. But this is available to everyone, it's something that you can see. Sustainability is something that we all are living with now. And we all know that has to happen so that we can reduce greenhouse gas emissions and our carbon footprint. So the paper, the plastic, it's important to source the correct material that you're gonna be using to build your packaging. But not only that, but it should be your partner should be have sustainable sourcing in how they produce the different products. Example is our LPI division. We recycle there 90% of all materials that are used in production. So there isn't a huge amount of waste that doesn't go out to the customer. This, this finished product is what you get. There's not tons of waste left over afterwards. It's all recycled to make new board, new paper. Uh, we also have a solar field, which produces 25% of our energy needs. So that takes us off the grid and saves fossil fuels, cuts down on fossil fuel usage. So recycling, sustainability, FSC is another example, FSC certified paper, which shows the chain of custody of that paper as it has traveled from the forest to your box, so that you know that legislation has been met along the way, and also that the labor laws were correct during that travel. And ultimately, your packaging company should offer ongoing audits of this all the time, always offering you the most current innovations and designs. One of the things I saw just recently, I got an email that film lamination is a problem for a lot of boxes and bags because it makes even recyclable paper, paper unrecyclable. Well, now they're coming out with film using cellulose, which is biodegradable. Now, this is brand new. I mean, I've seen this just this week. So it's a new technology. It still has to be worked out. But these are the kind of things that your packaging partner should be offering to you and keeping you abreast of at all times. So to review what we spoke about here today, leverage the opportunities, the e-commerce, digital, and social media now offered in a crowded marketplace. Those are so important for your business and play such a major role for all of us. Understand that innovations in printing mean your packaging can truly stand out. Packaging is a powerful brand platform. It's so important for your product to have complementary packaging. Your product is top of the line. Your packaging should give the customer that feeling. You're not gonna buy a Rolex in a plastic bag. You want the packaging to go along with it. And the regulatory environment is constantly changing. And you need a partner who will keep track of that and keep you abreast of those changes. The importance of a partner that makes your job easier is what we're here for. So my name is Vincent Scandora. I hope you've found this informative. If anyone has any questions, please reach out to me and I'd be happy to continue the discussion. Have a great day. Thanks again.